Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Kyra, and I got something. And that something is this ginormous box of wool, as you can see. Little, little sheep, there's fuzzies flying everywhere. Because perhaps it's not the best quality, but I'm just learning how to spin, so I didn't want to spend, like, this is four pounds, and I got it for eight dollars off eBay. Like, I, I, maybe not eight. What was it? It was like 12. Anyway, I'm learning how to spin right now, so I don't want to, like, I don't have a lot of money, so I don't want to, like, spend money on, like, nice stuff and then mess it up and then kind of be out of luck. So I got the cheaper stuff, and I was able to spin from it. I got this skein right here that I spun the other day, and I've sh I just want to experiment with this. So I'm going to try to dye it. So here's the thing. I spun this out the other day, sat out, carted everything, spun it, whatever, sat outside. That's a pro tip. If you're spinning, <laughs> carting and stuff, do it outside. Because because I didn't have to clean up anything. No mess. The birds have already taken all the wool and put it in their nests or whatever they do with it. So no mess. But I have this now. And, you know, the white is fine. It's fine. I'll use it, I guess, but I could dye it. And I could dye it pink. So that's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can dye this. Um yeah. Let let me let me go grab the other thing I got because that'll explain a little bit more why this is like a land and not a like set in stone. This is what we're doing, because I have no idea if this is actually gonna work. So we'll we'll find out together. So this is wool, right? Wool. I don't know what just flew off of that, but this is wool, right? So you would think we would need like a, not a synthetic dye, right? Okay, so I went to the store and the only, they had like the writ synthetic dye. They had like a bunch of colors in that. The only like all purpose or like not synthetic dye was black, which that's a choice. That's a choice. If you are like a crocheter, you know black bane of my existence. It is dark in here, as you can see. I have one, two, three lights on, both the windows open, and it is still dark in here. So black, not the moves. So I was thinking, and I was like looking around at the dyes, and I was like, well, there's all these synthetic ones, but you know what's cheaper? You know what's cheaper and might work? Because those just say synthetic, and this doesn't say anything on it. So we got tie dye <laughs> which but the my <laughs> my rationalization for this is if it doesn't work i have a bunch of like canvasy tote bags that i can just tie dye those like if it doesn't work i can just tie dye the tote bag and then it's not like we're wasting anything right i could just tie dye other stuff i have like a bunch of white fabric that i was gonna make a quilt with and then that turned into a mess so i can tie dye it with this and then make something else out of it so that's the plan <laughs> we're gonna see if this tie dye works on this yarn and we're just we're gonna do it by vibes vibes only we have these three colors vibes only if it doesn't work um i'll figure something else out but if it does work loophole <laughs> so let me let me look into this and see what it actually says because because that's that's yeah that's important okay so what it comes with <laughs> i'm giving you a haul of my tie-dye kit i did not realize i feel like when i was little the powder wasn't already in there i feel like you had to put it in there I haven't done tie-dye in so long. Apparently, we can dye up to nine projects with this. So, pop off. It's talking about folding. I don't care. I don't care. I won't be... Oh, we got the directions. Oh, I just ripped it. Okay. Read through all directions before beginning. So, I'm, I'm going to do that. Is this to pre-wash? I mean, technically, I, like, soaked it and then thwacked it. So... That counts. Add protective gloves. We do have protective gloves, so that's good. Water. Use full strength for intense colors. Okay, so we're probably going to do full strength, so I feel like that's going to work the best. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, allow dye to apply dye within 24, 72 hours of mixing. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with all this dye. Lose concentration. Well, eh. Hmm. -mm. 
Inter this is like a threat. Make sure excessive dye dust is removed from work area. It is invisible until it reacts with water. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it does not say anything about what type of... Oh! Natural fiber fabric. Wool. <laughs> Rayon, cotton, silk, whatever. Can you imagine tie-dyeing silk? Could not be me. I'd be so scared. Maybe it will be me. Interesting. Anyway, so apparently this will work on wool. So now I'm extra excited because I was very worried that this was not going to work at all. But if it's going to work on wool, perfect. So here's the plan. I'm going to do this in my sink because I don't have like a dye bucket in um, or like a dye bowl in particular. I don't have very many bowls. You know, you know how it is when you first move out. <laughs> not first. I've been here for a while. Just haven't bought bowls. So we're not going to use a bowl because I don't want to make a bowl toxic and potentially die from it. That would not be slay. So I'm just going to use my sink and hope it doesn't die because that would be real unfortunate for my landlord. But anyway, so I'm going to, let's, uh, so here's the plan. I think I'm going to do like, try to do like an ombre thing. This is all just vibes. We're just doing this based on vibes and seeing if it actually works. So I'm going to try to do an ombre. I hope these little ties don't get in the way. Maybe I'll like adjust them as I'm dying. But let's get into it. I'm I'm very excited. Um, I'm not too pressed about this dye sitting out longer than seventy two hours. I'll tell you. I'll tell you now. I'll put it in the fridge, right? The fridge gets rid of everything. Okay, let's get into it. I will have to change because I am not getting dye on this sweater. Okay, brb. Okay, hello, Doma and the weird camera angle. So I've made my little dye bottles. I've already gotten dye on my hands and all in my sink. So that's amazing, but I am going to start with this because obviously this is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. And so I was looking around and I was like, what else can I dye dye? I can tie dye my purse, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this t-shirt that I had just laying around because because why not just tie dye things while we're already here? Tie dye. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to put my little gloves on and then I'm and then we'll and then we'll chat. Okay. So I'm here. Got my my yarn. Don't mind these gloves being. Oh, I should have taken the caps off. I feel awkward. Just and, um, shouldn't take the caps off. Before. Oh, they're not that hard. Okay, so we have purple. I should probably put these on the counter so they don't fall down. Great. Right. Don't mind these gloves being so loud. So we have purple, blue, and pink. Obviously, I was pink girly. So we're gonna start with the pink. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put it on. Vibes only. Vibes only. And then we can kind of. <laughs> Is this a good technique? Oh. Not really sure. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. We'll come this way a little bit. That out. Or perhaps. No, we need to go this way. Oh, my poor sink. I really hope this comes out. We can do blue. And then perhaps purple. I feel like I need to, like, oh, yeah, scrunch it in. That's the way to go. Kind of get it in there. You know, <laughs> this isn't, this is what we're working with. Maybe I need to go more so, like, individual, like, squirt it in, really. Squirt it in. The way it's just falling off of the yarn and not going in at all is really reassuring honestly really really makes me feel like this is a good idea and i should have done this this is it's not working per se but but we just gotta trust the process trust the process this is just gonna be a lot of purple going on maybe we'll add some blue like really squirt it in there you know what I could do? Oh shoot, I was gonna say put it in a bowl, but that won't really make sense because I, I can't use a bowl. So I feel like it needs to like sit in the dye. Okay. Um <laughs> I have not much faith. This started it's weird because you can see the um the ties that I used. Well, I guess those are acrylic. The ties that I used are taking the dye well. 
to like seal it off, but the the spun yarn itself isn't really isn't really doing what it's supposed to be doing, but that's fine. We're just gonna use a lot of purple. Like it's taking a little bit on the very edges, so I guess that's good. Maybe I need to let it like sit. I'm so scared this is going to dye my sink. <laughs> okay, no, it's not dying the sink. We're fine. Um, this is what we're looking at now. This is so ugly. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do more pink. That's how you guys deal with your problems, right? You just add more tie dye in hopes that it works. You know, I haven't done tie dye in so long. Maybe this is just like how it is. Like it doesn't really, that doesn't make sense. It would just soak in. Well, we're getting somewhere like that. And that's it. Ah! I'm losing pink. Oh no. Maybe if I just open up the bits and rub them in, like it might be too tightly done to soak in. Does that make sense? We'll add some blue there. Okay, that's kind of working. So maybe if I hold it up. Oh, that worked. Okay, that worked. So we just need to splay it open, add some dye, squish it in. Okay. I'm so interested to see what this turns out like because I know the colors will lighten up, or at least I think they will as i go through so maybe maybe this will end up being a sleigh who knows if you guys can't hear me over the gloves at all i'm gonna be so sad so sad yeah we're just gonna squish in that makes sense I know in the bag it said like, don't use your colors too close together. They'll muddy up. Don't care. What if I, okay. That's looking interesting. So we're just gonna put that in the corner and it can hang out with the other yarn. And we're just gonna have fun now. I'm gonna rub my tote bag in this because I don't really care how it ends up. Maybe that's the way tie-dye is supposed to be. I've seen like people on TikTok do like crazy tie dye. Okay. See, okay. Hang on. Let me let me throw some dye on here. It's not soaking in the way I expected it to. And perhaps that's because I haven't done tie dye in so long that I don't really know what I'm talking about. But it's not doing exactly what I expected. I feel like you're supposed to have an actual technique with this, but I'm just going for vibes. We're just going for vibes. It also said on the box to not pre-wet the fabric, but I feel like that would have been beneficial. This is pretty. Why can't I have my yarn look like that? We're just going to mix our colors up. Oh, be fun, right? We'll add a bunch of pink in there. Okay. All the tie dye, like people that actually know how to tie dye and what they're doing, are screaming at me right now. And they're like, oh my god, please stop. You're ruining it. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I should have done this outside. Maybe not, actually. This would probably be really bad for the environment. <laughs> Just gonna mop up our mess. That's the goal with tie dye, right? You just mop up the mess with the. With the thing you're tie dyeing, well, that's some more pink in there. I remember when I was younger, I would have such a good time with this, and now I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just mopping up the mess with the tie dye. Okay, we'll put that one to the side as well. And then lastly, let's do this one like we actually know what we're doing. So I'm gonna do like shoot it in, right? You like shoot it in. Maybe I should have. <laughs> 
looked up how to tie dye or read the instructions. But that's part of the fun, right? Now, okay, maybe it's not just the. Now, here's my thing also. <laughs> Nothing I'm saying making sense whatsoever. Here's my thing also. The way it's just not absorbing is interesting, but that's not what I was going to say. Um, yeah, I don't remember. We'll just add some blue. A little blue never hurt anyone, right? I'm very, very curious to see how this all turns out. And if it all turns out badly, um, I guess I'll just cry. We're just gonna... Okay, we're out of paint, officially. So I'm gonna mop this up. <laughs> this is kind of looking cool. Okay, here, we'll use our skein of yarn to mop it up as well. Really get in there. Now, I'm not too pressed about the yarn having... Okay, that's gonna be cool. That's like a dark purpley color. I'm not too pressed about... My sink is a mess. This is a mess. About there being white on the yarn, because I know, like, in terms of tie-dye, that obviously... We'll squirt some more on there. That obviously happens. I need to get rid of some of this purple, so everything's getting a little bit of a purple bath. Because they all kind of absorb at different rates, right? Just not making any sense whatsoever. They all absorb at different rates. Okay, okay. So that's a purple gone, and now I just need to get rid of some blue. This is this is what crafting is, everybody. You just gotta experiment, hope for the best. And then if, if things don't go right, then things don't go right. And that's the moral of the story. So I'm just going to mop all these up. Really let that dye penetrate. I think this one's going to be the best one, the t-shirt. I'm very curious to see what happens to the yarn. I'm kind of separating it out and getting like all the strands, trying to at least get all the strands. This is, what am I doing? You ever like, you ever just look back, you ever just like pop out of your body for a hot second, and you're like, what am I doing? That's what just happened to me. But it's fine. My question is, this said it was good for three projects, but um, oh no. Okay, I clearly did not do something right. That's fine. We're just going to mop up some more. Tie-dye. What a fun time. I feel like maybe I did this too quickly as well. Everything's looking a little bit of the same color, but that's fine. Okay. I'm going to clean up this mess, figure out what to do next, and then I'll be back with you. <laughs> tie-dye adventure. <laughs> I feel like I want to put them all in together, because then there's more of a chance that the yarn... I almost picked it up to show you. No col... Oh, dang it. I was gonna say no colors yet, but I had this little bit when I was mixing. Colors, yes. Oh, lots of colors. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put these all in the same bag, and then just kind of let them hang out. I'll let you know if my sink died, because that would be unfortunate if it did. Um, so put them all in the same bag, let them hang out together, because maybe they can saturate into each other then. They can, like, ooze into each other. That's disgusting. Um, put them in the same bag, and then I'll chat with you. Let's, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, sink update? Barkeeper's friend? I don't think my sink has ever been that clean. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go wait for six hours now. Talk to you soon. Okay, don't mind the disaster <laughs> going on in here, but I rinsed out the yarn we're letting her dry now very obviously not tie-dyed at all but if you like open it up it does have a bunch of white still on the insides so i feel like that could be a cool look so we're gonna let her dry and then i'll i'll update you on how she's looking that's how the bag's looking by the way um trying to rinse this out in just a sink nightmare 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 um that took forever probably also because i severely oversaturated <laughs> the shirt in the bag but i'll let you know how everything looks when it's done
but as for now, yarn is yarning, bag is bagging, t-shirts t-shirting. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to have to rinse that again. Anyway, we're going to ignore that. Bye. See you soon. Okay. Everything's washed, dried, good. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to show you the little t-shirt first. It does have where I work on it, so I'm not going to show you all that. But here is the front and then the back. It all kind of has this like purple tinge to it, which is definitely because of the oversaturation on my part. But it's fine because it, I think it adds to it because I don't want just like... I was going to say I don't like plain white tops. <laughs> um, anyway... Um, I don't particularly enjoy plain white tops because I get, like, I'm just a messy, messy person. So there's just, like, when it's paired with overalls, it's fine because it's just gonna get on the overalls. But the plain white, like, not really the vibe. So, yeah. So, not plain white. Very excited about that. So, t-shirt, done. The bag ended up really cute. My keys are in it, so it's gonna be loud. Look at that! That's so fun! And I'm so happy. I've had this for so long. And honestly, same thing. It was white. It was getting very dingy looking. So now that it's not, it's it's like a brand new bag. Very excited about that. But of course, what we're all actually here for, did the tie-dye work on the yarn? The answer is yes. <laughs> it The color took to the... Shadow is rolling around in the window right now. Are you good? He's playing with a bug. Anyway, um... <laughs> The yarn, like the acrylic, took so much better than the actual yarn, which, well, that's fine. And there's, of course, I didn't saturate it all the way, so there's little spots like that. It's only going to focus on me. Little spots like that throughout where the color didn't deposit all the way, which that's fine by me. It's all pretty much the same color as well, which maybe I should have um, <laughs> used a bigger brain with that and so I would have the tie-dye yarn but honestly I'm not too mad about just some purple yarn but if you can't find any like writ dye tie-dye works great <laughs> if you actually saturate your yarn properly which I'm fine with I like the little bit of a variegated look like that's that's cool that looks cool so yeah I tie-dyed my yarn not really more just dyed my yarn and I, I'm happy with it. It worked. This is probably what I'm gonna use for like I have a whole giant box of this yarn so it's probably what I'm gonna use for most of it like use tie-dye just because it is cheaper too than like the normal yarn. Like the little three pack was only like six bucks when like the one bottle of the Rit dye was like $14 I think. So if I have, I definitely will wait until I have more to dye it as well because I know the little box said, don't oversaturate. And I said, it's fine. This took forever to rinse out because there was just so much dye in here. Definitely wasted a little bit. But if I have like more yarn to actually dye, I think it'll work out a lot better because obviously I won't have to oversaturate and I can do like different colors and I can actually use my brain and do tie dye instead of just dump the colors all over it and like squoosh it around. I really didn't think this was going to work because if you remember when I was like actually dyeing it, it wasn't like it wasn't soaking in at all. I also think I might put the like I might actually get a dye thing. Crazy. I know I said I would but I might actually get a bowl specifically for dyeing so I can kind of like soak it in there because I think that'll help with the like spots that we missed as well like like that. But yeah, I have my my first little skein of hand spun, hand dyed yarn. That's crazy. That's a crazy statement. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all later. Me with my hand spun, hand dyed yarn. I feel like such an artiste. Like, it's art. It's art. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I will chat with you all later. I'm going to rub my eye because I got some of this. It's like, it's not the best quality, so you can kind of see there that it's like has little fuzzies, little fuzzies that fly off and get in my eyeballs. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later. I will continue working on this and uh, sooner rather than later, the goal is to have enough of the hand-dyed, hand-spun, hand-dyed, hand-spun yarn, ooh, to actually make something legit. 
out of it like a sweater or something else. I'll have to decide when I actually get there. But yeah, that's it for today. I'll see y'all later. Bye.